Today we have a very special guest, Phil O'Gee from the Human League. Hi. Hiya, Phil. What football team do you support? I'm not really that, but I don't like sport all that much, which I, th I think musicians in my day didn't. A lot of my friends are Unitedites, and I, I'm really happy that they're, they're in the Premiership because I think it's good for Sheffield, and, and I want Sheffield to always do well. It ought to, it's a big town, it ought to do well. But I would love it if Wednesday did well as well. I'm not very competitive, so, so I want them all to do well, and that doesn't work. I support Sheffield Wednesday. Brilliant, okay. Well, I used to live at Middlewood, so I used to go past, past the ground all the time. Yeah. What school did you go to? In Sheffield, I went to King Edward's School. I only came to Sheffield when I was 15, 1969. I'm, I'm a Midlander, really. I'm, 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 I was born in Leicester, but my dad moved round. Um, and went to school there for two or three years before, before I sort of was asked to move on. <laughs> What's your favourite chocolate bar? Well, it's funny you should say that because I really like chocolate and I like so many chocolate bars. I'm, I'm, I'm sort of fascinated by it. Favourite ever chocolate bar? Well, Twix is very good because you get two of them. Um, I like crunchies. Uh, I like old fashioned ones. I suppose the most popular cho chocolate bars are Kit Kat and I love a Kit Kat. I think, I think Kit Kat might be the best one. I like peanuts, but I prefer peanut brittle. I've had, but I tried that before. I yeah. tried it. Yeah. Very nice, very nice. What is your favourite unique song? Oh, it's song. Now, that's a funny one because I have to live it and I have to sing them a lot. So every, everyone, everyone seems to like Don't You Want Me and we, we did well with Electric Dreams and things. I like a song called Seconds because I always liked the instruments, and that was more the instruments with just a little tiny bit of singing on it. And I still really enjoy doing that one live, but I'm grateful for all of them. Do you think your song could exceed in the future? I really hope so. We've, we've, we've done all right so far. Luckily we're from the 80s, and the 80s is, is, has been popular for a long time somehow. I hear them everywhere, it's funny, yeah. but I, I just went on holiday to Costa Rica with my girlfriend and we never heard one of our songs, so we're quite happy about it. Wow. <laughs> have you ever had another job? Yeah, I have. When I, uh, I left school suddenly, I didn't, I didn't want to do further education. I had to have a job. My dad said, you're not living there if you haven't got a job. So I went and did two years in a bookshop at the university that they've now knocked down. Then I did four years on the hospitals. I was a hospital porter for four years, which was uh, actually a terrific job. Didn't pay you very much money, but it was it was very friendly. I worked uh, at the Royal Hospital and at the Children's Hospital. What is your favourite country that you have visited? Oh, we went on holiday to Turkey, myself and my girlfriend, and that was really fantastic. I mean, it was a bit confusing because I couldn't understand any of the language. At all. Turkey but speaking a lot of Arabic. It was an Arabic country. Yeah, I've been there. Lovely, friendly country, beautiful people. But I, I'm an old science fiction fan, and it was like being in Star Wars. It yeah. looks so nice, so exotic. Who oh, is the most famous person you, you have met? Oh, the most famous person that I've ever met. Yeah. When we started out the group, uh, Live music was a very big thing, and, and David Bowie came to two of our concerts yeah. in 1979, which, and it was interesting to meet him. He was always a very big for us. There was a band called Roxy Music that we really liked, yeah. and we met them. Along the way, I, I guess we've, we've met most of the people. I stood next to Cliff Richard in, in the shop in Sheffield not so long ago. But. <laughs> okay, what music do you like to listen to? Well, our band is a synthesizer band, although we ended up doing pop music, we love pop music. I still listen to a lot of electronic electronic music, dance music, uh, that's, that's what I've always been interested in. Partly because I'm not a very good player, I can't play guitar, I can't play keyboards, so we have to use computers to make the music. I've seen like, one of your um, songs and you had like, you know, when they had the one girl and you had two girls were dancing and you sold their song. Yeah, that's it. 
I've seen it. So yeah, well, the, those those two women have been my partners since 1980. So wow. that's it's three of us in the group, and and you know we've kept it together since. So it's still all the original group. Well, myself and Joanne yeah. and Susan are both both from Sheffield, uh, both from over Occupation Lane, and and that's what the business is. Yes. Wicked. Yeah. Thank you, Phil, for coming in today. Thank you very much indeed. Thanks, folks. Nice to see you. Can we give him a round of applause? Thank you. Thank you.